Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiz Alam. In today's session, uh, we will be having an overview of the procurement to payment cycle, which is also known as P2P cycle. And uh, we will be going through the each step uh, uh, of uh, this process and we will uh, know about the, that how this uh, uh, cycle works in our next week application so let's start now so a procurement to payment is the process of coordinated and uh, integrated actions that are taken to fulfill a requirement for goods and services till the vendor payment in uh, simple uh, words, we can say that it is a process of uh, integrating the purchasing and the accounts payable system. The P2P cycle is a sequence of steps which involves procurement and financial procedures in order to create greater efficiencies. Uh, P2P provides control and visibility over the entire life cycle of any transaction. So, uh, this uh, st uh, this uh, cycle starts with the purchase requisition. Uh, basically, uh, purchase requisition is used in the company which has a procurement department and when the company wants to allow the employee to request the goods independently. It handles all aspects of acquisition from the purchase of goods uh, to the payment of the vendor. So to ensure product productivity, an organization should follow each step in the cycle. Here we are having a view of the P2P cycle. So which starts with the creation of the vendor uh, for whom uh, we want to create a purchase order. So first uh, we have to create a vendor after create, that can be a company or an individual. And after creating the vendor, the purchase requisition is created, which is an optional. Uh, then uh, that, that requisition will be approved and when the purchase requisition is approved we can create the purchase order and then again that purchase order uh, should get approved after approving the purchase order the receiving of the item takes place and uh, when the item is received uh, the vendor bill is created when the bill is uh, created after that it is uh, ready for payment so for that its payment will be made and when the payment of the bill is made uh, we can have uh, the reporting or we can have the reporting of uh, this transactions and have the uh, view where the amounts are appearing in our reports So if we talk about the normal P2P cycle, it requires a lot of manual efforts, but with NetSuite process has become so streamlined and it has automated the manual steps that are uh, required in the step. So for uh, so we will start from the beginning, we, we are not going to create any vendor. So we will start with uh, creating a purchase requisition. For that, we will be going under the transactions, purchases, enter requisition. So here we have to change the form from custom to standard. And uh, we have to, subsidy has already been here. We will have to select an item for which uh, we want to create this requisition. Near this Apple iPad. So, if we want to uh, mention the name of any vendor, we can mention it. And uh, in, for requisition, there are two rates one is the estimated rate, and the other is the actual rate. So, this is an estimation. So, you can see that it is not the actual rate. And uh, We have to provide some details for it. And uh, after this, we will click on add.
and you can click on add and you can see the amount total is here that which is for 2000 and we will click on save Now our requisition is, uh, con uh, now we got the confirmation that our requisition has been successfully saved. Uh, we will click on this requisition number. Sorry, the status shown here is pending approval as we have not approved it. So we will click on edit. and get this uh, requisition approved and click on save now we got, we are having this option that uh, we have to create a purchase order as the requisition has been approved so we will click on it So this is the order requisition, we just have to check, uh, get, uh, get uh, do a cross check of it. This is the date uh, we have uh, made, in a, made a requisition for Apple iPad and uh, we just uh, check this mark, check this box out and submit it. We have to select a vendor for it. SP Professionals. and submit it so this purchase order is under process uh, we will click on refresh it is still under process Now we can see that the status shown over here is complete and the, this is the PO number, we will click on it. And uh, in the cycle after uh, uh, creating the purchase order we have to uh, receive that item so we are having this option receive, we will click on it. So this is the item receipt form, uh, we, we just uh, check, uh, check out whether all the information is given properly or not, we have to provide a location for it. And we will click on save and bill. Now we have arrived on the bill page as we have to create the further step is to you know create a vendor bill. The first thing that we have to do over here is to change the form from custom uh, uh, vendor bill to standard vendor bill. So we have to change the status from pending approval to approved and uh, we can see that the amount is here, the vendor name is here, currency, exchange rate, everything is here and we will click on save. 
the bill is open either we can credit it or we may we can make payment for it so as we are having through the p2p cycle so we will be clicking on the make payment option and this bill payment has opened up for us you can see that the accounts payable account uh, that is associated with this bill payment is here custom form is already uh, already here standard uh, bill payment form the pay name which is the vendor is here if we go down date exchange date everything is here this uh, bill payment is for uh, you know 2000 uh, uh, 2000 so gbps so after uh, make after uh, checking all these things we will click on save so here we can see that the bill payment has been successfully made uh, made so they, we have uh, gone through all the steps and the last step that is remaining is the reporting uh, so where can we have uh, uh, this these figures um, i mean the bill payment uh, status uh, we can have a view of it so for that uh, we will be going uh, under the reports in the netsuite application there are two kinds of reports one uh, is the standard one is the standard and the other is custom so uh, for having the view of this uh, transaction we will be going under the reports vendors payables and we either we can go into the ap payment history by bill or we can go into the ap payment history by payment so we will click on it so you can see that uh, the it uh, has provided us you can see that this is the bill payment that we have made today with which is of uh, for bisp professionals and the amount was uh, and the amount is for 2000s if we click on it it will it will take us to the bill payment page and this is the bill that have been generated so we can uh, reach out into which we can reach out to any of these uh, options so you can see that the first thing uh, for having a look uh, we have to change the filters it has already been uh, selected like you can see that we have we do not have to change the uh, period from and to and the subsidy is also to be changed for uh, having a look at this uh, transaction so this is how we can have a look uh, and we can uh, see that uh, where these uh, where these uh, amounts find their way so that will be under the reports under the vendors and payables and uh, if we go into the ap register here also you can see that it, it is shown under the accounts payable since it is an accounts payable register so you can see that for 14th of april these are the two transactions uh, and the status shown over here is paid as we have made the payment so this is how we can have the uh look of the bill payment so uh, and uh, how can we have the whole p2p cycle viewed in our netsuite application in case of any questions queries and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you for watching